A VAT certificate is an important document for any VAT registered business to keep on hand. It demonstrates your business's right to charge VAT on VATable sales and contains all the key VAT details that your customers or suppliers may need to know. But what if you lose your VAT certificate or never receive a copy in the post in the first place? In this video, we will cover what exactly is a VAT certificate? How to view your VAT certificate online? Can your business charge VAT without a VAT number? When will your VAT certificate be available? And finally, can HMRC send a copy in the post? Before I get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you're kept up to date with all of our latest content. This really helps us to produce more helpful videos and to get you real quality advice from real qualified accountants. When you register your business for VAT, HMRC will send you a VAT certificate that details the following, your business's VAT number, the business's name, details of when to submit the first return and payment, and an effective date of registration. So this is the date from which VAT needs to be charged on VATable sales. Your business may be eagerly awaiting the arrival of this VAT certification, as legally your business cannot begin to charge VAT on an invoice until it has the associated VAT number. Your VAT registered business will need to display the VAT number on any sales invoices where VAT is being charged to demonstrate to the customer that your business is an official collector of VAT and being registered correctly with HMRC. Where any of your customers question the need to pay VAT or the legitimacy of a VAT charge, they can take your business's VAT number to the HMRC portal and check the VAT number directly with HMRC. At the beginning of April, we granted early access to the Accounting and Tax Academy membership site. In July of this year, we're opening our doors to everyone. Our members will have access to in-depth tutorials, free downloads, and exclusive discounts. And the best part is it's absolutely free to join. Head to the link in the description box below to register your interest today. Whether you've lost the original VAT certificate that HMRC sent you or just want to know for future reference, a copy of the VAT certificate can be found online. You'll just need to follow these four simple steps. Number one is to log into your government gateway portal. You'll need the username and password you created when setting up the portal. Then select view your VAT account. The option to view your VAT account can be found on the first page of the government gateway after logging in. Select view your VAT certificate once you are in your VAT account, you will find a link to view your VAT certificate under the Manage Your VAT heading. Follow this link to view a copy of your VAT certificate. Choose from View, Save or Print. All these options are available via the portal. Your business needs to be registered for VAT and have a valid VAT registration number in order to charge and display VAT on an invoice legally. HMRC are very strict about this and do not take kindly to those who break the law. However, there are certain situations where it might be necessary to start accounting for VAT a little early on. First things first, you cannot charge VAT prior to the effective date of registration. If you are registering voluntarily, then you will choose this date, but if this is a compulsory registration, then then it will usually be the date that your business was required to register. It can take some time from the effective date of registration until the VAT certificate is actually received. So for example, you may have submitted an application for VAT registration to be effective on the 1st of May, but your VAT certificate along with your VAT number did not come through until the 1st of June. So how can you account for the VAT for invoices charged during this period 1st of May to 1st of June? If your business is selling to other businesses, then the simple solution would be to raise an invoice excluding the VAT and then raise a VAT only invoice once your registration number comes through. So for example, if your invoice is for £1,000 plus VAT, then you can charge £1,000 as usual in the main invoice. And then once your business VAT number comes through with the effective date, raise a VAT only invoice for £200 to the same business customer. Or you could simply wait until your business VAT certificate comes through and raise one simple invoice in one go. If your business sells to ordinary consumers, then the advisable approach would be to raise your prices by 20%, that's the standard rate of VAT, on the effective registration date and stay on the invoice VAT pending. Then once the VAT number comes through, reissue a VAT invoice to the customer. This approach is somewhat more onerous, but it's better to have collected the VAT money first and sort out the administration afterwards. 
If you have recently registered for VAT, then you may be keen to know your registration details as soon as possible. Most certificates become available within 30 days, although it can take longer than this at times. How you receive this certificate usually depends on how you make the application. Where you made the application online yourself, a copy is usually sent to your government gateway account, so you can retrieve it online using the four steps shown earlier. Where an agent, such as your accountant, made an application on your behalf or you were not able to apply online, HMRC will usually send a copy of the certificate in the post to your registered office address. A copy of the VAT certificate is available online via the portal the instant your business registration has been processed by HMRC. This means that if you keep checking the portal regularly, then you may be able to retrieve and print a copy a day or so before the original certificate arrives in the post. Yes, of course, HMRC can access copies of your VAT certificate on request, but in the interest of efficiency and making tax digital, they will always try to help you access the certificate online yourself. If this proves to be challenging or impossible for your business, then they can send a paper copy in the post.